Both the East and West U.S. Ashore Club sections have undergone a multi-million dollar upgrade, giving fans one of the best sporting experiences in the world. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of Jaguars All Access unveiling the new U.S. Ashore Club. And let me tell you, fans have quite the experience ahead of them. Uh, they certainly do. So not only is there going to be a better team on this field that you can cheer for, this game day experience in the club seats, in the new U.S. Ashore Clubs, it is going to be unparalleled yes. to any other stadium in the NFL. So tonight, we're giving you the very, very first look at the finished product of more than six months of incredibly hard work. Both the East and West clubs have undergone renovations that really bring the fans and the team into the 21st century. And the theme for the two sides is, is black and white. And you're going to see that theme throughout these massive spaces, Vic. And you are also looking, well, it's a great experience here. And it is wonderful. We've got a lot of behind the scenes for you. Everything has changed. Let me tell you, take a look at these patios. These are one of a kind at the 50 yard line here in the clubs on both sides, Nikki. Wonderful way to interact with other fans mm -hmm. and catch the game. Yeah, and these are just a few of the amazing changes that really Shad Khan has wanted from the beginning. And we are so excited about this. So here's a look at what this new space is going to look like when fans arrive for that first preseason game, which is going to take place on August 20th against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, take a look at this, folks. All right, so these photos show what the old clubs looked like and then the upgrades that have been put in place. I mean, it's almost like the city got a new stadium. And much of the space has been opened up. Um, there's places now where you can sit down, you can grab a bite to eat, you can get a drink, and you're not going to miss a minute of the action on the field or the other games that are being played elsewhere on Sundays. So one of the men to thank for that is Nick Sobic. He is the team's director of strategic initiatives, and he has been working hard, very hard over the past six months to make it really the best fan experience in the entire NFL. Welcome inside to the U.S. Ashore Club. This is Nick Sobic, one of the people that was in charge of making all this happen. First of all, it is beautiful. I feel like we're in a five-star hotel. Thank you. That's actually one of the one of the nicest compliments we've been paid so far because that's exactly what we we're going for in, in this space. Up the stairs and around the corner, the main concourse for the West Club. You'll notice three floors of brand new everything from concession stands to bars to air conditioners, all with an upscale feel. Yeah, we actually did a lot of data analysis and research to understand what our fans on the west side of the building want. And they want country club, they want high end, they want, you know, really nice hotel vibe. And we, we did our best to sort of deliver on that design initiative. So now we're on the east side and it's right. distinctly different. Very different. It's geared more towards millennials, the Jaguars' fastest growing fan base. The spaces are customizable to cater to special events as well. Anything from a business meeting to a banquet or wedding reception. But let's face it, people are here for what's outside, the game. Both lounges open up to new giant patios with spectacular views. Fans with club tickets can take in the action from midfield, and if they want to upgrade, they can enjoy the game from the new bar rails. So this is not bad at all. 50 yard line? This might be the best seat in the house. Yeah, you look comfortable. Comfort is key. All the new club seats are padded and gray to keep you cooler on hot days. It wasn't easy to make so many changes in the off season. February 22nd was our true start date. Turn this job around in 130 days. That's calendar days and we pretty much work every day since we started. 1,000 construction workers put in a total of 30,000 man hours to finish the job on time and without any hiccups. So they had to come out here and they had to cut these concrete beams. Previously, this thing would have run all the way out to the bowl with an angle and a bunch of seats on top of it. So this was a flush cut. We cleaned it up, made it look pretty. They took out 3,500 tons of concrete to create the new areas. The stadium has about 2,000 less seats, but that's more fun in the common areas. Really cool stuff here. It looks like this is going to be the best fan experience for anybody in the country. I think without a doubt. I know my experiences here are going to be a lot better. Um, love to stand up and move around in the clubs. I don't think anybody else offers this in the NFL. Those behind the renovation say you won't be disappointed. 
cost us about $26 million to do this project, and the project was about 26 weeks long. So we spent $1 million a week for the last 26 weeks, and, and we think it's money well spent.